Hello, and welcome to the Dolphin Setup Tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Dolphin GameCube and Wii emulator, and also how to download some ISOs so that way you can actually run them on the game. Now to start off, you're going to need to download the emulator. All these links to these sites will be available in the description for you to click on. Now the first one to go to is to dolphinemulator.com. Again, this link is in the description, so you can click on it and simply go to the site. You can go to the download tab, and you can download any one of these versions. I personally have the 3.5 stable version, but you can use any of these other versions as well. Just keep in mind that this video for description purposes, I'm using 3.5. So once you download that, it will download to a zip folder, which then you can just unzip and place on your desktop simply right here. So once you have that downloaded, you can either go download some games or you can start setting up Dolphin. I'm going to start setting it up so that way you know how to set it up for future. So once you run it, you'll have, uh, I'm sorry, once you open the folder, you will have these things currently in here, except for this ISOs folder. So everything that is currently highlighted, you will have in your folders. So now when you open Dolphin, you will get this, except for without these uh, things here. So when you get this done, you're going to need to download some games, but we're skipping that step, and we're actually going to go configure it and get it ready to work. So now you can go to the config. And you can set all your options here. Now you can change it to however you want, but I'm going to go for the two main tabs at a time, General and GameCube. General, you can leave basically everything it is, except for change your frame limit to audio. This prevents crashing on some games due to cutscene glitches, or just, you know, it'll keep it at the exact level that it was meant to be played at. Some games are meant to be played at 30 frames, some games are meant to be played at 60 frames. Limiting it to the audio, We'll sync it up so that way it's played at the correct frame rate. Moving on to the GameCube tab, you're going to want to create a memory card. So when you go to here, I already have a memory card inser inserted, so it'll be to nothing. So now when you want this, you change it to memory card, and then you choose the memory card <laughs> that you want to use. I have this one, it was uh, created for me, and I'm going to go ahead and use this one, so I'm going to open it. You can easily name it yourself, or you can use one for the future. You can even, also even copy and paste this one if you want to. So I'm going to open my memory card. And there you go. So now I have a memory card inserted into my theoretical GameCube, and I'm ready to play. But before we do that, let's do some graphics options. Now you can change the way the game renders out the graphics. I'm just leaving it on the default of 3D9. Or you can use DirectX 11, OpenGL. OpenGL I don't recommend, and Software Render I don't recommend. Those can lag your game a little bit. Then you want to select your graphics card or your graphics adapter that you can use, your resolution and the screen uh, ratio that you would like to use. So now enhancements. Now the only thing that you can really enhance is the um, anti-aliasing and the anisotropic filtering. Um, personally, these really aren't required, but if you are looking for just a really smooth looking image, then go ahead and bump them up if you can. And basically everything else you can kind of leave the same. You really don't need to mess with it. If you want to go looking around to mess with stuff, you can go ahead and do that if you want. You can also hit show FPS if you're an FPS nut. So if you want to see if you're getting the exact frames. Although the game window does display it on the top of the bar. So you really don't need that if you want to. So now that you have all that done, you're probably going to want to configure a controller of some kind. Now personally, I'm using an Xbox controller. Because uh, that is the only controller I have that is USB compatible. So as you can see, I'm, w I'm wiggling around the sticks just to show that it's actually connected and working. But I'm actually going to um, reset this. One second, I'm going to clear these buttons. And I'm going to choose the gamepad as my device input. So then I just simply click on these things. And then I click the button I want to set them to. So button A, I'm setting to A. Button B to B, X to X, Y to Y. Z, I'm setting to right bumper. Start is start button, mic you can skip, main stick, you just do the simple stick motions. Modifier I use as the stick click button, so if you want to click it, so like that, you just click the button. C stick I'm using as the right thumb stick. So set those real quick, and then modifier I use the click, triggers, and then the D-pad up, down, left, and right. So there you go. And then you can even save the profile. If you want to load a profile, you can save the profile so you can load it later. And that's how you set up a GameCube controller. You can set it, or I set up an Xbox controller on here. Now you can do this with other places, other types of controllers, but I don't have those. And if you would like to look at those, uh, simply search around YouTube and I can guarantee you'll find something somewhere. 
So the last thing you need to do is you need to download some games. There are two websites I personally use to download games. One of them is CoolRom.com and the other one is EMUParadise.me. Each one of these sites work and you can navigate them by simply looking around over the sides of the panels or you can even go over here. So for example, ROM files, then you go to GameCube. And then you have the browse by letter category so you can view all of these. And then you can even like click on top downloaded so you'll go to this page and then you can start downloading your stuff. On this one, it's the same thing. You're going to want to go to the ROM section. So you can go to here. It's going to, this is where it is on me. Um, otherwise, you can just uh, search around the site and you'll find it somewhere over here, for example. So you go to here and then it'll have all the ROMs that are currently available. You want ISOs. And then you can search by title. Personally, I like cool ROMs a little bit more, but either one of these works. That is a weird tab to have open. Um, but yeah, you, so you can search for any of these. So that's the basics, and then once you have them downloaded, you can either make a folder for this or not. It's entirely up to you. I made a folder for this, so if you get these in here. I added a folder called ISOs. I put it in there. Now you can choose your ROM directory by clicking Browse for ISOs, going to here, and then choosing the folder you have your ISO stored in. It'll get the list of every single ISO that is currently stored in here. And to run the game, you simply double-click on it, and it will open a separate window which then you can use to open the game and start playing it. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, walk around a little bit on my controller to let you to show you that the controller input does work once this game has loaded in. And as you can see on the top of the screen, the green text right here is DX Tori running, so do not um, count those as the frames. But you can see up here, I have the frames per second category thing running up here. And it actually tells me how fast the game is running at its standard state. So 30 frames is its 100% speed state. So let's go ahead and let's run this game a little bit. So now that I'm loaded in, you can see that I'm walking around as just normal and I can easily play this game. And you can see the anti-aliasing is a little bit up from what it normally is on the GameCube. And you can bump this up to whatever you want to. So that's my general explanation of Dolphin. If you have any general questions, please leave them in the comment below or shoot me a message on YouTube. I'd be happy to answer them. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'm glad I could help.